Welcome back to Brötje Automation. Let's take a look to fastening systems. This is our core competence for decades. Today we would like to make a deep dive into one of the technologies, the frame clip assembly. As you probably know, each aircraft is held together by millions of rivets. And at the frame clip assembly, we connect the outer skin with the inner structure. So as you can imagine, that's safety relevant and has the highest expectations on accuracy and quality. So therefore, to make a little deep dive into this technology, I have made an appointment with my colleague Sören. Sören is one of the brains behind the concepts of the different machines for frame clip assembly. And he will introduce us into similar machines, but different machines depending on customer requirements. So I hand over to my colleague Sören Bohmann. Thank you very much. So my name is Sören Bohmann. I'm a concept engineer at Brutia Automation and I'm responsible for the design of our riveting machines during the concept phase. This machine is one of our frame clip riveters. Uh, the frame clip riveting process is one of the most important tasks of the automation uh, when we're talking about the assembly of fuse latches. Um, we're standing here beside our mobile system, our mobile riveting system. The benefit of this mobile platform is it is independent from the environment. We have no rail system, that means we have a clean shop floor. The only connection is the power supply and the air supply of the platform. This mobile platform consists out of the robot that is mounted on an X-Sled to get more reachability on large parts. We have two drilling end effectors and one riveting end effector. The special feature of this machine is that it has an automatic coupling system. That means it can change the end effectors automatically. In order to increase the level of automation, we tailor the end effectors to the individual requirements of the application. That allows automation levels up to 90% and maximizes the efficiency for our customers. And even where we reach the limits, we can improve the efficiency by using a specialized drill-only end effector. With more than 30 systems in operation, we are proud to lead the world market for frame clip assembly. So now we gained an overview about our configuration of the frame clip assembly robot. But for each of our customers, we tailor the machine to the individual needs. And if you follow me just a few meters on the opposite side, you can see what this means, because the machine has to fit the aircraft program that it's working on. And here we have another system that we just starting up for delivery for our customer. Zeron, what was the main challenge that we had with this machine? The challenge is, to combine what we have in a normal riveting system, the upper and the lower tool, in one small end effector. We need that small end effector that can be handled by a robot and not by a big system because the big system will not get into the small areas we have to rivet. For this application, we needed much higher forces. We are challenging geometries and a slightly different riveting process. Therefore, we designed a tailored end effector for this purpose. So we had to redesign the complete end effector regarding the base frame, the upper and the lower tool, the fastener injector and the drill spindle. We needed more clamping forces, higher clamping forces. We needed a bigger drill spindle and we needed a higher upset force. We 
have a fixed pressure foot bushing on a bridge. That means the part is clamped during the full process. We have two different end effectors. We have a drilling end effector and a riveting end effector. These can be changed automatically. So in case the robot needs another end effector, the robot moves into position, releases the automatic coupling, and parks the end effector on the storage. Therefore, the system is much more flexible and has a higher level of automation. The second head is a lightweight drilling head with additional functions. With this, we are able to improve the business case for our customer. For different operations, the drilling head can be equipped with several units. Especially drilling units with different features, that means we have clamping units, we have drilling units with suction systems, and we have a reference camera that can be used to get the exact position of the part in the environment. According to your fastener spectrum, we can supply different kind of fastener feed systems. Here you can see our fastener rack with eight slots but we have another one with 16 slots. And if this is not enough, we can extend that with a second fastener rack. All in all, the concept of having robotic frame clip systems with exchangeable end effectors gives us an extremely flexible and cost-efficient system that allows highest levels of automation. Robotic frame clip assembly is available for all kinds of aircraft types as it can work also with complex and smaller consoles. The high level of automation makes sure we have a good business case for our customers, even with challenging requirements. Sören, thank you very much for giving us this insight in our frame clip assembly technology. We have seen that frame clip assembly is never the same, so we have to adapt it to any individual customer to the different needs. If you are interested in learning even more about the system, don't hesitate to contact us or click on our website brötchenautomation.com. Thank you and bye-bye.